What's going on guys? Back with another scramble technique. It is freestyle season, so I will eventually get into freestyle stuff. But I had that one thing on my mind from, uh, from Flow Nationals. Uh, and then I had just one more thing on my mind. I, I got to get it out of my head. Got to get the knowledge to you guys. Um, so I got the very ugly pink Mako here helping me today. You guys remember him from the Sammy Sasso match? Okay, so I passed the leg, boom, and the leg ends up here over the back. So I want to talk about this from both my position and his position because people screw up both of them. So this position should be very simple. I don't want to do this because that gives him too easy access to my legs, right? He can grab either ankle he wants, he can pass the leg, get that leg back over there. He can do whatever the heck he wants on there. So what I should be doing as soon as the leg ends up is putting the foot away from him like this. See how my feet are not facing him? He has no hope to grab my foot. Shoelaces, depending on right my post, I'm in a single leg shelf position right there, right? So let's review how we got there. I pass the leg and I start like here. I don't build up the knees, I put my feet to the outside. Boom, boom, boom. Single leg shelf position. Nobody finishes like that. So now we're gonna talk about the other side of the equation. So Peyton's gonna pass my leg. Boom. No, pass that one. Yep. And we end up here. Okay. Everyone always tries, Peyton included, Peyton messed this one up, but he's pretty awesome, so he won anyways. Everyone always tries to kind of hold him back or hold him back here. The fact is, at this point, I'm probably not gonna be able to stop him from turning over. Boom, right? What he should be doing is sticking his feet out, but he doesn't know that. So he's gonna turn over, he's gonna hold here. So we really have two options. Number one, come up and over all the weight on this foot. So try to lift that foot up, Peyton. See how he can't lift it up? All the weight there, and then what I need to do is give him the leg through the hole. Boom, okay? Now he's probably gonna go to a back hook type of position. Right here, but I'm in a stronger position where I can sprawl and win. Okay? So that's one. So let me rewind here. I'm here. I gotta get all the weight on the foot that he in fact has. Boom. Get it going up my leg. Sprawl out. We'll be in this type of position. Position I should win. Option number two. Sorry, this is a long video. I hope you guys are getting on this. Option number two is as Peyton comes up to his knees, I jump side to my far hip. I kick the arm pit. Boom. Right there. So let's do that one more time. To Peyton's face that way. So he passes my leg. He's right here. He as he builds up to his knees, I flow with it. Boom! Right there. Kick the arm pit. Finish the takedown. So that is what you should do from both sides of that equation. I watched so many people, even at the NCAA level, get that wrong. It is actually not a very hard position to win from either side of it if you're executing those techniques properly. Hope you guys like that.